So we were dealing with a family where uh, the mother was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Lyme is an epidemic in Canada. It's very quietly happening. Nobody talks about it, but it's a massive problem. Uh, and we, we did a study where we worked on 800 Lyme patients with their genome in hand to understand why does this person not even know they have it? This person feels kind of like a flu, and this person can't get out of bed for six months. Why this disparity in variability and outcome? Of course, there's probably something genetic going on there in terms of how we cope with that. So we learned, firstly, is that 30% of the women in the study who were diagnosed with Lyme on medication didn't even have it. What they had was estrogen toxicity, the thing we talked about for breast cancer, right? Which mimics the exact same symptoms, but because estrogen toxicity isn't part of, you know, the medical protocol and go to primary care and, hey, this is something I should look at, nobody looks for it.